راح نبدي بال next part of uh... okay جاهزين لو اكو بعد ناس تجينا لو شنو آه مهند دكتور روح لي يجي يدخل تمام بين ما هو احنا اليوم حضورك 48 ما تجاوزوا لا دكتور لا دكتور وصلوا تقريبا 60 قبل شوية بس هسه لين طلعوا هسه شوية بيجون يلا ماشي Yes, uh, and now uh, with the next part of uh, lecture, which is the injury to the ankle and foot. Uh, first of all, we start with the ligamentous injury because it's important. strain or sprain is me, out here. شنو الفرق بين سبرين سترين اند تير يعني انكل سبرين انكل سترين اند تير انكل سبرين مين ا مايكرو تير رينشينج اوف تيشو رينشينج اوف تيشو نسمي السبرين انكل سبرين رينشينج اوف ذا ليجمنت اند تيشو يعني ذا ذا لاترال ليجمنتس اللي هو اللي هي 3 parts عندنا تيلو فيبرا ليجمنت انتيرير تيلو فيبرا ليجمنت و بوستيرير تيلو فيبرا ليجمنت اند ذا كالكانيو فيبرا ليجمنت اللي نسميه كولاترال لاتر كولاترال ليجمنت هذا الشيء يصير به رينشينج اوف ذا تيشو ان اديشن تو ذا تيشو اراوند يصير بها رينشينج رينشينج يعني شنو مايكرو تير ذير از واتس وي كول ات سبرين But if there is strain, strain this mean and a partial injury to the tissue. Yeah, and when you say, say partial injury, not complete tear. If there is tear of the ligament, usually there is complete tear. Ah, that is when you say, you say an anterior tail of fibular ligament and mungkin you also have a calcaneal fibular ligament. So this is an ankle sprain, ankle strain, ankle uh, tear. In such a condition, we just need an, uh, uh, if there is a sprain, just ice packing, bandaging, uh, uh, modulation of the activity in the next two weeks. But in the tier, tier it can categorize the patients if the patient is a dancer, dancer, or athletes, We go for a surgery for repairing of this ligament, but if they are not, just we put in a cast for two weeks, or if not, the patient reviews the cast and the elevation, we just use an ice packing, dropping, dropping that means crepe bandaging, and uh, with exercise and modulation of activity for the next two to three weeks. Yes. And uh, sometimes it is an, a complete injury of the ligaments. These are the ligaments we talked about. Sometimes patient presented acutely or chronically. Acutely, it cannot do such an stress view. Cannot because it's severe pain presented with the swelling, sometimes even uh, bleeding, echamosis in the lateral aspect of the ankle. And if there is echamosis, please put a cast for at least two weeks to three weeks, and then um, uh, resting, ask the patient for resting for next three weeks, and then for the examination later on. But if patient presented chronically, yes, and he said to you, and seeking help because of uh, inversion trauma or inversion trauma, patient is stressed to the inversion during the walking, من يمشي يقول لك تعثر وتروح على جهه. And this is continuously 
and this we need to assess the patient first of all by examination you do stressing and you see that there is uh, uh, there is more than usual there is more than usual inversion of the ankle and we, we when we send for the uh, stress view by x-ray you can see the, this in the in the uh, powerpoint there is over stressing by x-ray we we do an uh, stress and we take a picture you can see that there is uh, a maximum inversion that means the ligament is completely teared yes chronic case need a surgery by reconstruction the reconstruction that means not suturing of the ligaments because when there is a chronic case it's atrophied it cannot be sutured yes we took an abyssin serenus tendon we took an tendon graft and we do a reconstruction of the ligament and in sewila ligament in sewila ligament by anchoring of the lig uh, tendon to the fibula and to the talus and calcaneum yes as a complication patient if there is a sprain and not well treated treated sorry patient may have an recurrent sprain especially if he's athlete or a dancer patient may have an later on giving way or instability and by x-ray teller treating an anterior drawer test will be abnormal by examination we did an anterior drawer test yani we catch the foot and the leg and we do a drawer, a drawer uh, test that's mean there is a um, either anterior drawer or posterior drawer and sometimes tailored it as we said we do inversion and we see that there is uh, that's in it the medial side because the deltoid ligaments which is uh, the medial collateral ligaments is very strong have a two parts superficial and the part and it's fan shape like fan shape like and it's very strong than the uh, lateral collateral ligaments. <clears throat> Fracture around the ankle. Patient, either it's athlete or osteoporotic, uh, both menopausal, that all usually lean shuffle. <clears throat> Twisting a trauma, cannot stand, and there is swelling, and it commences around with the tenderness, and when we send for x-ray, there is a fracture. Fracture. Um, uh, seen by AP lateral or mortis view, it will be 30 degree oblique. It will our say mortis view, it will be 30 degree oblique. And by the X-ray, we looking for. We by the X-ray, we looking for the articulation of the talus with the tibia and fibula, and articulation of the tail uh, tibia with the fibula. This is very important. When you see the x-ray, when you examine the patient x-ray, you have to see with first articulation of the talus with the uh, tibiofibular articulation, and second, the tibiofibular articulation itself is very important to see it. And then, yes, uh, we go for classification. We have the log Hansen classification. A log Hansen classification depends on the uh, force injury. For force, supination and addiction were causing the injury. She said, witness supination and addiction. When you join the like supination and addiction, what is it? Abduction or abduction, what is it? The most important one, what we call it, Dennis Weber classification. Dennis Weber classification and Dennis Weber, Dennis Weber. Or Weber, we call it Weber, but we call it Weber classification. It is the simplest than Log Hansen. And it is the type ABC. It is the key master for this is the key master for this classification. يعني الفيبيلار فراكتشر بلو ذي ليفل اوف ذي تيبيا او فيبيلار ارتيكيليشن اللي هو شو نسميه نسميه سندسموسيس 
This is called syndesmosis. Tibio fibula articulation, call it syndesmosis. If the fracture is below the syndesmosis, it's mean A. That's mean stable fracture. But if it is at the level of syndesmosis, as the picture number two is B. But if above the level of this syndesmosis, it's mean C. Above the level of the syndesmosis, it's not injured the syndesmosis. Above and at the level, it's complete injury of the syndesmosis. And this is the treatment. If it is B and C, it needs surgery, even if it is displaced. Why? لأنه أو minimum displacement and displacement ممكن تمشي الأمور لكن minimum displacement أو severe displacement knee surgery less because tibio fibular syndesmosis is involved and it is vital راح شو يسوي إنه يسوي إنه chronic pain it cannot it cannot mobilize later on فلذلك it needs surgery C and B يعني above the level of syndesmosis أو at the level of syndesmosis. وبالنسبة لل A يكون below هو most stable if any displaced yes go for the cast and that's all. This is we call it the تكلم عن dense Weber classification. This is examples for stable and unstable. You can see type A it at the level of syndesmosis, like in undisciplined. ممكن إن نمشي، ممكن إن نمشي. ال B we can see in the B there is a displacement. First of all, again we look for the articulation of the talus with it with the tibio fibular tibio fibular articulation, and you can see that. It is displaced completely. Medial talo, talo, medial malleolus, talo, medial malleolus distance is increased. That means it unstable. It unstable and need the surgery. Okay. And uh, uh, you can see the C is widely displaced. This in the smosis and it need the surgery. وبالنسبة لل D هو posterior posterior it's a malleolar fracture posterior malleolar fracture again because it's articular fracture it needs a perfect reduction and fixation. إذن الفيصل بالموضوع هو the fibular articulation and the tailor tibio fibular articulation. So in severe swelling should be postponed the surgery. دائما below the mid of the leg أو جوا mid of the leg أو جوا هنا postpone the surgery until the swelling is subsided. ليش لأنه هنا it's not so much soft tissue it's just in a skin and bone and with the swelling it may lead to the and surgery it may lead to the sloughing of the skin which is very disaster and nightmare for the surgeon. Yes, and this is the modalities for the fixation. Medial malar fracture is fixed by the screw. Uh, syndesmosis, it needs to reduce and put in the plate, and we put an syndesmotic screw. Yes, this way in a D. A D, a lacum D. Now, did you want to know that this is type C, and the fracture is above the level of syndesmosis? And the articulation between the tibia and fibula is disrupted. Pelhale, it needs a surgery. You can see will be there is a screw, long one, long one screw. How they say when it's in the smotic screw, it's in the smotic screw for articulation of the tibia and fibula. Very important for articulation of the tibia and fibula. It's in the smotic. حتى يرجع الوضع الطبيعي. Yes. Complication, ممكن يصير stiffness prevention by surgery, early surgery. والثاني هو طبعا complex regional pain syndrome. It's very important condition. Complex regional. That's mean what? What is the this term? 
حكوا لكم عنه بالكومبليكيشن ريجنال بين سندرام مهند تعال دكتور شرحوها ممتاز ممتاز جيد اوكي يس بوستيرر مارجنال تيبيال فراكشر يسمونه تيبيال بوستيرر مارجنال فراكشر اكو مرات شي يصير يصير ميديال مالولار فراكشر جاست او لاترال مالولار فراكشر فقط او يصير بوستيرير مالولار او مارجنال تيبر فراكشر فورورد ثراست ايسوليتد اور وذ اذر مالولار فراكشر اف سمول جاست نيد نو تريتمنت اف لارج نيد افكسيشن واحد شيء عليه هنا انا الدي الدي The picture uh, of D is a posterior margin fracture. We call it posterior marrow fracture, and it needs a surgery because it affects the, affect the articulation. Comminuted the fracture of the tibial plafond is a pilon fracture. Pilon is not a idle hound or a hound. This is the one that is the one that is the one that is the يستخدمونها للطحن هذه ايد الهون او ايد الهاون ليش تيبيا هي الايد مالته والتيلس هو الهون فهذا يسمونه تيبيال تيبيال بلافون فراكشر axial compression يعني شلون الطحن axial compression fall from height or subchondral or even distal state of yeah, and this this is very important fracture ليش because there is a severe swelling of it sometimes we need or usually in the most of the time we need to postpone surgery after one week we ask the patients for elevation about one week in order to decrease and minimize the oedema And then later on, we just put our uh, knife. Leish, you know, if we start surgery as soon as possible, it may end with the sloughing of the skin or skin is not sutured. Yes, send for the x-ray, send for the after fixation, stabilize of the patient condition, stabilize of the uh, fracture itself temporarily, and then send for x-ray. And sometimes, and later on, we need for not so, sometimes, always, almost, we need an CT scanning for assessment of this fracture because it's mostly comminuted type of fracture, and we need to uh, reduce and restore all the fracture to its place in order to restore our ankle joint. If you not restore it to the normal uh, side, you will not uh, have an. Uh, mobile ankle and you will not have the patients with the normal walking. So we send for x-ray assessment and then we plan for surgery after one week of uh, fracture after elevation. So we put a cast or even we do attraction through the calcania and uh, later on we do our, um, our fixation by special blade We call a lower tibial plate. Can it be medial? Can it be lateral? Uh, plate can be uh, fixed this uh, segment. Ankle fracture in children. It is uh, physial a fracture usually. Twisting force, same the force that uh, occur that causing the fracture in the adult is same it. Salt and Harris. Um, X-ray. It's either displaced or undisplaced. If any displays, just put a cast. If displays, we need to reduce it um, as soon as possible because it affects the growth or even may cause varus or valgus uh, and shifting the calcaneum to the other side. If uh, sometimes, if not reduced, we need to do a uh, fixation. Fixation, of course, after five days or after um, one week. This is a physial fracture. Yes, this is an, another example for physial fracture. I need an, um, you know the type of the physial fracture. So there is one, two, three, four. Um, uh, yes, and fixation. And this is another 
example for tylox fracture, tylox fracture means epiphyseal fracture, epiphyseal separation fracture, um, the, uh, the tibial fibula articulation, take a piece with it with this when it's separated, causing physial fracture, epiphyseal fracture, sorry, and it needs a fixation to the epiphysis. Yes, this is an, uh, this is an uh, uh, tylox fracture C. C is the tylox fracture, which is a picture by the CT scanning. Tylox fracture. Minus Belade who Salter Harris in the Irwin. Complication, but you know that Salter type 3 or 4, it may end with the malunion, valgus or varus, because the fractures may affect the physial plate uh, growth. It may affect the visual plate growth. Malunion or even asymmetrical growth, it may or even shortening more than, um, uh, if it's uh, more than 2 centimeters. Bill Atfal, a shortening less than 2 cm can be accomplished with the growth. It's overcome with the growth. But if less than, if with more than 2 cm, yes, it causes shortening. Fracture of talus need a severe force. Need a severe force. It may include head, body, neck, or others. Patient presented with a severe swelling and even skin is tinted and sometimes injured skin. X-ray, sometimes it's not so obvious for the to diagnose the talus and we need to do uh, a CT scanning. Uh, usually and mostly fracture talus presented with the displacement, displaced the fracture and it need a surgery. Usually it need a surgery and uh, it's difficult surgery but it's usually it can be accomplished, and uh, fixation of the talus, um, it may return to normal, but there is a uh, very dangerous complication may occur with the talus fixation, which is the avascular necrosis of the head or dumb of the talus, gum of the talus, and this is may result in the OI changes, and later on, it needs arthrodesis. Arthrodesis, يعني غلق المفصل. Arthrodesis, يعني غلق المفصل. So, fixation, and after healing, sometimes it heals well, but 20% of cases may present it with the avascular necrosis. Yes, um, this is a modality of treating necrosis of the body or the neck treated by the arthrodesis. This is the fixation. You can see the fixation, and uh, you can see in the D, and the D uh, is an uh, and the D it's uh, a vascular necrotized the dumb head and neck. Yes, fracture calcaneum. Fracture calcaneum usually presented after falling from height. Methylen high cerebral fracture. The double channel. You tofrun from the إذا يجي عليهم اللقاء قبضة وتجي هذول البعثية عليهم شو يسوي؟ يطفر من فوق على رجليه يصير عندنا فراكشر كالكيك وستظل هذول يشوفهم بالعسكريين من يطفر من مكان بعيد من مكان عالي عفوا ويجي يصير فولينج اون هيز فيت يصير فراكشر كالكينيوم بايلاترال 20% اسشيد وذ سباين بيلفيس لذلك من اسئلة اقول لك بيشنت بريزنت وذ فراكشر كالكينيوم شو تدور بعد؟ تقول اشوف شنو؟ سباين، اشوف البلفيس، اشوف نيك اوف فيمر وهكذا. It could be extra articular, it could be intra articular. Extra articular usually close the treat unless it is displaced. Intra articular طبعا rarely نشوف extra articular، rare كلش. عادة هنا عندنا in our society and in our country usually intra articular and discommunicated. لحد الان كلش قليل اللي شفتهم يكونون not common use عادة فلشية ونقيسهم على البوهلر انجل 45 إلى 40 treatment again assessment of the patient and evaluation and uh, we admit the patient to the hospital or in the home at home sorry um, and elevation is very important لأنه يصير بي swelling قلنا من المد of the leg أو من جو الركبة وجو دائما السوالنج عندنا مشكلة 
فيصير elevation is very important and displaced ممكن casting و if displaced yes it need uh, assessment by CT scanning it's uh, if uh, operable yes we need to fix it if not operable we just casting and later on we do subtalar arthrodesis later on and these are examples for the calcaneal fracture for extra articular extra articular usually is good fate and it's just need a fixation and this is intraarticular fracture that's mean due, uh, uh, in the articulation of the talus with the calcaneum which affect the sub which we call it subtalar subtalar joint this subtalar joint is affected by this fracture and need to the uh, arthrosis yes and this what about the angle the bohler angle it which result in the flattening of the bohler angle bohler angle احنا حكينا عنها اللي هي line longitudinal axis or articulation of the talus and another line with extra articular surface of the calcaneum where until 25 to 40 degrees sometimes this will be minimized because of the calcaneum fracture and you can see how it's comminuted and it's associated with the spinal fracture this is a, a, one modality of fixation another modality the calcaneal plate mid tarsal injury mid tarsal injury mid tarsal injury this is an articulation between the midfoot and hind foot usually a patient it's usually a ligamentous injury sometimes associated with fracture <coughs> and semi lissafrance lissafranc or lissafrance injury or fracture pain swelling deformity as we said and displays just elevation and casting but if displays we need for fixation this is what we call it this france fracture and you can see this is an ligamentous disruption mid tarsal injuries tarsal metatarsal tarsal metatarsal اللي هو اللي هو يتابع للس فرانس الميد تارسل الميد تارسل يكون كيونيفورم نافيكولار مرات يصير ايسوليت فراكشر مرات جاست ليمنتس انجري تارسل ميد تارسل اللي هو ميد لس فرانك بارت اوف ات هو لس فرانك اند ذس بيس جاست سبرين بات اف ذس بيس نيد ا فراكشر اند ذس از ذا لس فرانك فراكشر mid tarsal tarsal metatarsal you can see the mid mid metatarsal articulation with the tarsal is completely disrupted and usually associated with the sometimes we have to think with the about a compartment syndrome of the foot and it need surgery definitely metatarsal fracture وعندنا اكو كاتيجوريز فور ذيس اللي هم ستريس فراكشر هذا عاده يصير بالسكند سكند اور ثيرد ميتا تاسل بون نيك نيك سايد اوف ذا ميتا تاسل بون ويصير عاده يسمونه مارش فراكشر مارش فراكشر يصير بالعسكريين او واحد لابس له حذاء جديد ويمشي مسافه طويله يسمونه ستريس فراكشر او مارش فراكشر because of overuse with tender lump and this is um, usually uh, uh, just in, in sometimes it's not diagnosed by the uh, x-ray it need an isotope scan or MRI while I just leave it and modulation of activity this is a marsh fracture C C is the marsh fracture uh, you can sometimes later presentation just forming a callus later on. And another modality is a metatarsal shaft, LA, metatarsal shaft. This is if this place it needs a surgery, if not just casting. B is the boat hole injury. Boat hole يعني شنو؟ قبق القوري. قبق القوري يسمونه boat hole injury because there is attachments of the peroneus brevis to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the metatarsal fifth metatarsal shaft 
and causing fracture. If this is more than five millimeter, we need a surgery. If not, just casting. And in the D, this is Robert Jones fracture neck to the base and uh, shaft to the base, sorry, shaft to the base. And this is liable for non-union adhesion. If this is fixation, if not, just casting and liable for non-union because it's usually the site of walking. And this is the end of our talk. Yes. Any question, please? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Doctor, I'm going to the slide. Yes, sir. هذا اخير سلايد شنو سؤالك علي دكتور بس هو يعني اللي وصلت للشافت وبقيت اكتفها وخربطت يعني يعني مثل yeah. احنا قلنا اي از ذا شافت شافت اوف ذا ميتا تاس اوكي اف ات از ديسبليسد وي نيد ا سيرجري اف نوت يس بوت ا كاست اون ذات اول اند وي هاف تو بي اوير اباوت ذا كومباس syndrome of patient and the close observation compartment syndrome. The next uh, picture LLB. LB is the fracture of the base of the fifth metatarsus. Fifth had the fifth. Had the khams. We call it the boat hole injury. Boat hole يعني قبق القوري. شلون قبق تفتحه؟ فيسمونه boat hole injury. And this is usually occurred by avulsion trauma of Bironius brevis. You can you, you know that the Bironius brevis insertion is this uh, to this part of the fifth metatarsus. Facing avulsion trauma, more than five millimeter, we need a surgery. If less than five millimeter, just put a cast on that's all. And C is the marsh fracture, lichchen ali, citrus fracture, not appear. At the same time, sometimes it needs uh, time. And you take a patient after two weeks, but in the chaos. But in the time of the trauma, you take just pain. There is a uh, tenderness. By X-ray, it's normal. And same for MRI, there is fracture. This is caused in the military recruits and. In the inappropriate shoes. Is, for example, he wears a dress rasmi, and he walks for a long time. He can get hurt. Another modality D is the Robert Jones fracture. Robert Jones fracture, or the Jones fracture. Uh, Jones fracture is a fracture between uh, a fracture between the uh, shaft and the base. Shaft and the base. And this is usually liable for non-union because with early mobilization. <coughs> displays need fixation and displays just put in a cast. Robert <coughs> injury. I will say me Robert Jones fracture. How the Jones fracture you from the show. I like to have the injury or the Jones fracture. What the hell lady? تمام دكتور شكرا جزيلا. Another one. Hey, any question? إن شاء الله استمتعتوا بالمحاضرات وكانت informative. أنا رسلت لكم إياها. اقروا اقروا عليها زيدوا معلوماتكم عنها لأنه راح تنسى. Thank you very much إذا ما عندكم سؤال تقدر تحضرون راح تكون.